Hey Playa, have you ever found yourself comparing the qualities that other people have to what you have? We all do this from time to time, but where it becomes a real problem is when it starts to affect how we look at and interact with the world around us. If this is something you do, stay tuned because I'm going to share a bunch of tips on what you can do to work through. We all get into that place sometimes, where we feel like there's nothing special about us and we're just a plain person, unlike everyone else who seems to have it all figured out. There's a number of misconceptions in that thought alone, and it all starts with how you view yourself in relation to the world around you. Even if you feel like you're nothing but a boring, normal person, that's incredibly far from the truth. If your line of thinking is, I don't really do a lot of fun things compared to other people who are always involved in activities, then you might be simplifying it just a little bit. In fact, I can tell you right Right now that there's no one else in this world that carries the same interests, hobbies, goals, and experiences that you do. And if you're only comparing yourself by surface level things like your grades, your looks, or your social status, you're ignoring the qualities and factors that make you who you are, and that's something that can never be replicated. Sometimes though, you may have the urge to want to just fit in, to not be considered an outcast or weirdo, but to be normal just like everyone else. And it's totally okay to feel that way, but I would have to say that your sense of what what normal is, is really only based on what you see. There are tons of other factors behind the scenes that make everyone different. Whenever you see the smart kids or the popular kids, you're really only getting a glimpse of what their life is like. There's more to the story than you're actually seeing. In fact, if you were to ask one of those people if they feel like they're better than everyone else, I'm sure they'd tell you no. They'd probably name off someone that they feel that they are inferior to and that they aspire to be like. At the end of the day, we all feel like we fall somewhere in the middle. We think we have it better than some people, and we think some people have it better than us. That's why getting stuck in the cycle of comparing yourself to others is a losing game. It's not until you accept who you are right here, right now, that you'll start to realize you're not in competition with others. You're in competition with the idea of others. Another idea we should try to break down is what it actually means to be better than other people. Does it mean you're a top A student, that you have a boyfriend or girlfriend, or you're just a really cool person? Whenever we talk about what makes someone better than us, we rarely ever mention what it took for them to succeed at what they're doing. Instead, we want instant gratification. We see someone has something and we immediately want it for ourselves without really taking the time to think, how can I get it on a path that's right for me? And let's be real, there will be times where things come naturally to other people. Maybe they're tall and that makes it easier for them to date, or maybe they're book smart and that makes it easier for them to pass their tests with flying colors. But regardless of what other people have easy access to, the real work comes down to knowing what your strengths and weaknesses are and calibrating your life in a way that works for you. What's that? You don't have any strengths? Well, I beg to differ. In fact, I would go on to say that your strengths are probably things you're completely overlooking. For example, have you ever taken time out of your day to listen to a friend who was feeling sad just because they needed someone to talk to? Or have you ever went ahead and did your chores without being asked to because you knew that it would take a load of stress off your family? These little heroic actions are strengths. Strengths don't always manifest themselves into things that you can show off. And that's why it's important to look at your actions and yourself very deeply. Your strengths come from you being you, how you help and guide others, how you inspire them, how you take the time to make them laugh, and how you push them forward every single day. One important thing to remember here is that there's no such thing as a better person. We all do good and bad things sometimes, and although you may feel like you fall short in comparison to others, that doesn't make you a bad person. As long as you're willing to learn, listen, and be honest with yourself, you can grow into the person you want to be. Be a better person on your own scale, not in comparison to someone else's. And that simply means moving away from the things that you don't want to do or be associated with and moving toward the things that you do. If you really take the time to outline your own path, to understand your own uniqueness in this world, and to work towards being your best self, then you'll immediately start to see that others can compare to you simply because they're on a totally different wavelength and path than you are. What do you think though? Do you feel like you constantly compare yourself to others? Do you feel like there's something that other people are better than you at? Leave your comments below and we'll talk about it.
Being happy and confident is the first step on your path towards being your best self. So if you want to learn all about that, check out the video over there on the side or check out the playlist all about building happiness. And if you found this video motivational in any way, you should definitely pick up a Josh Speaks t-shirt. Today I'm wearing my two words do work t-shirt, which you can get over on my Spreadshirt store. Simply click on the t-shirt button and it'll take you guys there. As always, love and peace.